In a season of wild and powerful tornadoes throughout the U.S., Midwest and South, this one in Iowa Tuesday seemed straight out of Hollywood. Look at that road. Oh my God. Almost otherworldly. Wow. As it ripped its way onward. No power. Oh my God. This is Western Illinois. Oh my God. And the same storm system that hit nearby Iowa. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you guys? Okay. Oh my God. Leaving a landscape increasingly familiar in this country. This is that same town in Illinois once the storm had passed by. In Glen Allen, Missouri, south of St. Louis, early Wednesday, another tornado killed at least five people. We actually got a notification on my wife's phone that went off, so we knew something was coming. The power went off and the house just started shaking. It was uh, a lot of cracking, loud wind. So we ran inside, ran in the bathtub, and it was in a matter of seconds, and then it just hit, and it was just awful. Just You could hear the house just, I don't know, it sounded like it was getting destroyed. The past few weeks have seen dozens of tornadoes in the U.S. So far this year, there have been nearly 500. That's double the average number by early April. All in, more than 60 people have been killed. In Arkansas, the big one from last week, they're still dealing with the mess left behind. Likewise, in Indiana, one of eight states struck just this past weekend. I couldn't even get across the room, and boom, it was a bomb went off. And it's not just treacherous twisters. In a number of places, including Iowa, hail. Some of the hailstones this big. And as those who made it through this latest round wonder what now lies ahead for their lives, it is with the new certainty in this country there will be more of this ferocity to come. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.